I'm Ray Armentrout, and I'll be reading from my new book, Conjure. Conjure. How did the synthesis cross the abyss? In a sentimental story, there is only one of something, one newborn, one moment, one once embalmed in myrrh. All I want is not to be first on one side, then the other, but to conjure a stream of sounds and images for which I am not responsible and maneuver within it. Mouth and tail, one thought. The sea now full of cannibal jellies, blue, if the sky says so. Pinocchio, strand, string, in this dream, the paths cross and cross again. They are spelling a real boy out of repetition. Each one is the one real boy. Each knows he must be wrong about this, but he can't feel how. The fish and the fisherman, the pilot, the princess, the fireman and the ones on fire. Speculative fiction. The idea that producing a string of nonsense syllables while pointing toward an object may cause that object to change is common in children on the verge of language. The idea that force exists only as an interaction between objects while an object is a kind of kink in a force field. The idea that if one survives X number of years, one will live to see how things turn out or even that things end well. In the future, we will face new problems. How will we represent the variety of human types once all the large animals are gone? As sly as a mother? as hungry as an orphan. Notice, the way a gesture used to ward off trouble became cheerful waving. There was so much looming and vanishing to take note of always. We felt like play actors before we knew what we were about and after. Turns out, the mummy's curse is real. You pump thick death out of the ground and burn it. It kills you. But in all the movies, curses are a cheap plot trick. The doofus who can't read the hieroglyph dies first and no one misses him, them. We were born yesterday, we're sorry. Where will you spend eternity? How would you describe a God who could use magic but doesn't? Who prefers elaborate widgets and toggles, seconds toppling one by one, the careful recording of endless instructions? We're riveted by the hell show. The devil plays a huckster. What will he come out with next? Demons banished for dramatic effect are brought back to lobby for poisoning children. We can't believe they let us watch. In fact, they make us. Care. Dress like you care. Eat like you care. Care like you care. You don't think apples just grow on trees, do you? A fish taps a clam against a bony knob of coral to crack its shell, which demonstrates intelligence, yes, but is the fish pleased with itself? Alone in your crib, you form syllables. Are you happy when one is like another? Add yourself to yourself. Now you have someone. Project. 
Your clock's been turned to zero, though there is no zero on a clock. Your skin is petal soft, no matter how old the starter kit was. But you will get tired or bored. That's when the clock starts up. Your parents want you happy, but we also want to set you down to get back to our old lives. How will you turn against us once you figure this out? You're about to discover intention. There are four stuffed animals in front of you on strings. They are targets. You won't understand this for a while. You flail your arms. Sometimes you make one bounce. Are humans the only creatures who must learn to move with purpose? Is that why we harp on motive? Why we think of Earth as some God's handiwork? None such. This eucalyptus, with its elliptical leaves, dangling light and dry as an abandoned chrysalis, with its modest bunches of pale pink flowers and languid pose, is my unattainable ideal. Of a piece, in pieces, past it all, and in plain view, nowhere in the blasted web of stars is there any such beauty? Twilight. Where there's smoke, there are mirrors and a dry ice machine, industrial quality fans, if I've learned anything about the present moment. But who doesn't love a flame? The way one leaps into being full-fledged, then leans over to chat. Already the light is retrospective, sourceless, is losing itself, though the trees are clearly limbed. Now see, don't worry, we have armies of showrunners writing our dreams, ones where we're featured as skilled apparatchiks facing credible threats that appear and disappear like clockwork leaving no apparent damage. It was all one to me, all pain pleasure, all squirmy life death, until your head broke the surface and looked backward and forward. Now see what you've done. Okay, now I'm gonna read three newer poems. Hang on. Domestic as an empty shopping cart parked on a ledge above a freeway. Artifactual as an acorn barnacle. What is the purpose of barnacles? People ask the internet. Barnacles are filter feeders. They're fish tank decor. A plaque of barnacles on top of a toilet. This cluster of brittle puckers clinging to its old idea, these craters striped pale lavender for some unlikely eye. On growth, dressed all in plastic, which means oil, we're bright-eyed, scrambling for the colored cubes spilled on the rug's polymer. Inside each is a tiny car when we can't unscrew the tops, we cry for help. We're optimists. To sleep is to fall into belief. Airing even our worst suspicions may be pleasurable. We are carried, buoyed. In sleep, the body can heal itself, grow larger. Creatures that never wake can sprout a whole new limb, a tail. This may be wrong. Password. As if the problem were that I couldn't stuff the bulky text into the child's backpack and was late for a class I never registered for so long ago. Business tiptoes in a world of masks. People relate to a transparent sham. 
as if genre weren't camo. Strange to wake rested after these dreams of disaster and scandal not registered as such. When I've stared long enough at the rough-skinned, snub-nosed, or tough-nippled lemons, I will give attention to World Password Day. If you've enjoyed these programs, please consider giving a contribution to Poets House. For more than 30 years, they've kept the door wide open to everyone for the joy of poetry. Recently, they have temporarily had to shut the door and are reeling from the financial implications. Please give, even a small donation if you can. Thank you.